Thank you guys for 32 subscribers plus 20,000 views plus me also doing 200 videos. Um, well, that's quite a lot of videos and a little bit of subs and video views, but you know what, man? That is awesome, guys. Keep it up. And I'm going to be doing Bad Piggies walkthrough. Yes. I'm going to do Groundhog Day for the Bad Piggies walkthrough. Right, let's just get started. <clears throat> for this sub special and stuff. So the first level should be extremely easy. You just need to build something like that. It should be in that um, light bulb. Hopefully this video doesn't get too long. I'll keep it on till around about 6 minutes, 30 seconds. As you get 3 stars at the start, which is pretty nice. Next thing you'll want to build is maybe something you a bit like level 1, but instead you need that pusher thing. Anyway, 3 stars again. Now level 3 is a bit, level 3 is a bit different. I don't know why, but sometimes you just won't get um, that time. As you can see, I minus time just then. However, you can go get the stars itself by doing this. We're gonna make it one more while longer. It's better because of yeah. Isn't that good? Anyway, so how to do this one is you just wanna do that. Pretty much. Shouldn't be that hard. As you can see. Not that hard. Level 3. No you should be able to complete the level easily. Pretty nice. However, the time thing you're gonna do what I just did at the first. You know, next up on the list is just like before. How to get that. And get to the goal. That's how you get the um the star box thingy. Sometimes it's, people say V and the anyway. And the other way is just doing that, I think. I'm pretty sure it was like that. I can see I finished it pretty fast. Yeah. Next level is level five and uh you can actually go over here to find a skull and that box. And to get that box, I'm just gonna keep going like this. Should take a while. Although, spend your time on the game, it's a very fun game. And uh, they say Angry Birds fun. I recommend this one because uh, I enjoy this one more. Angry Birds. I used to play Angry Birds. I even played it today. Um, space. But anyway. It's so slow. There we go. This is yeah, about two boxes. Two stars done. Level six, I believe, or level seven. I'm not entirely sure. Level six. And uh, the sun. If you go down here, you'll find a skull. Go ahead and take that. Otherwise, this should be a pretty easy level. You just need to power that flan, fan, and you're done. Um, also, about that st star thing, you probably want to stop the fan for a bit and just get there. So, I'm not going to demonstrate that because it uh, can be stuffed. Alright, level 7 of oh, this one. This is how you get the time. Just do nothing. It might not always work, but sometimes there's something wrong with the game fix it, physics. But there we go. As you can see, I got it. Still at 10 nanoseconds or whatever it's called. Left the spare, and to do that, no smash. You will need to use a mechanic, which is looks like this. I don't have to build it. I don't want to for some reason. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna power that. Oh my gosh, so slow. Then, power that. You don't want to hit the TNT. And then you're ready to go. Good as easy. Level 7, complete. 
This was a level I stuck down here. I looked on walked through to YouTube. Anyway, level eight. Shouldn't be that hard. Just using dice slicks. This is a really easy level. Um, well that was a failure. So if you don't want to use slicks, then um, hopefully you can just keep trying and get the game physics to work. See, this time it worked. I don't know why, but sometimes game, the game just changes. Wow, I smashed into a TNT and didn't get, I didn't get crap, snap, crap, crack. All right, next thing, we should put two Coke bottles and blast off. And uh, you get to the goal. Um, to get the Starbucks, you'll probably need one Coke facing this way. To go this way. And then...